obviously the big logo yeah. behind you, WNBA team officially coming to the Bay Area in 2025. Just how big is that both for women's basketball and also the Bay Area? Yeah, it's uh, great news. I know um, it's been something that's uh, we've talked about internally here for a few years, and um, this is such a basketball hotbed already. Um, and and a place that it really is is going to embrace um, you know women's basketball. So great idea! I'm so happy that it's it's happening, and excited to see where where it goes from here. Hi, Steve Michelle Smith. Uh, the league. How much have you paid attention to the WNBA through the years and the growth of the league? Um, the you know, the quality of the play. Yeah, I've watched uh, quite a bit. Um, it's the, the quality of play has just dramatically improved over the last uh, decade. And, um, you know, there was a series two years ago between the Mercury and the Storm that was just every game was going down the stretch. It was incredible shot making, um, so much talent on the floor. And, and um, for me, that was a series where I really, it just kind of, captured me and I started watching. Um, I, I know a lot of people um, in the WNBA. Uh, you know, I've been watching the Liberty. Sandy and I have become friends and and, um, and we've kind of compared notes from a coaching standpoint. Um, you know, I know a lot of the Phoenix people, obviously Nick Uren now heading over there to, to run the operation. But even before that, from my days in Phoenix, you know, I got to know uh, Diana Taurasi pretty well and Penny Taylor. And so I've always kind of, you know, kept my eye on it. But the last few years, um, I really enjoyed the, the quality of play. And so I'll be watching the finals, you know, when it starts up. As a quick follow-up, does that track for you with the – the timing being right for um, the Warriors to take a team and just in terms of that, you know, quality of play and the increased visibility of the team? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's um, – I think it, it's great timing um, given the uh, the level of interest in the sport here in the Bay and the, the level of play and the, uh, you know, the quality of the women's game. I think the uh, – if I'm not mistaken, the Iowa-LSU final was the highest um, rate, I think, 10 million viewers, um, you know, highest rated uh, sporting event in in our history and for women. And, and so, the, you know, the, the combination of the game getting so much better and uh, more popular and then the league coming to the Bay Area, it's, um, it's great timing. Yeah. I I know that Joe is very passionate about Stanford sports, and I know he's gone to to plenty of um, Tara's games down there. Um, and I know uh, how excited he is uh, to bring the WNBA here. We we talked about it um, a couple times um, over the over the last couple of weeks. So uh, it's great. I mean, uh, you know. I, and I also heard that he guaranteed a championship within five years. So, um, so it, it's uh, you know, Joe is passionate about the sport. I mean, he and you know, what what year did he buy the the Warriors? Was it oh nine, oh eight, somewhere in there? Ten. Um, yeah, he did deliver. That's right. So yeah, um, but you know, you just think about the. I mean, the, the the Warriors' fortunes changed the second Joe bought the team and said, "We're going to win in five years." I mean, because he he delivered every resource um, to to strengthen the organization at every level, and so the commitment he's going to make um, for the WNBA team will, will be 
you know, obviously there there are guidelines to, as to how much you can spend on payroll, but he's going to make sure this is a first class operation because that's what Joe does, and, uh, and that's really exciting. Um, it's I think the fans are going to love it, and um, I think we will enjoy it too. Being um, organizationally, just having a new group of people coming in with um, you know similar goals, but um, maybe a different way of doing things. I think. Um, be a good learning opportunity, a good growth opportunity for our organization too. And the, the open facility is yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. Put itself in these 360 technology for camps. And uh, how pleased are you just to have that group headquartered over there? Yeah. It means a lot to the city that's going through. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it's great that they'll be practicing in Oakland. Um, there'll be a true. Bay Area team, um, you know, that facility is fantastic. I wouldn't mind practicing over there once in a while myself uh, with our team, but um, it's great that it'll be used. I know it's used for camps now and, and a few other uh, things, but um, it's great that it'll be used, you know, all, all season for, for them. As a, uh, true, as a true Bay Area team, do you have any hopeful names as we see what the team name is going to be? Uh, we've been yeah we've been discussing that uh, downstairs what the name will be and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that to the experts. <laughs> one uh, one non WNBA question you know with Kavan we know that he's not doesn't need to be always the loudest speaker with also being such a big leader for you guys with somebody like Andre gone do you see him maybe being more vocal or does his role there kind of stay the same for Kavan? No he's you know loon is loon um, he's not all of a sudden gonna start talking uh, just because Andre's gone um, remember Draymond's still here so uh, but I think um, th what makes Loon so respected in the locker room is it's his actions um, day in and day out um, he's just I, I think I've s said this he's a metronome you know it's just every day it's just there's there's a rhythm to his routine and it's so consistent and uh, he's put in so much work over the years that the guys uh they love him and respect him, and and every once in a while he will say something. But you know, when he says something, it's um, it's very meaningful. Probably not top of mind. You're immersed in training camp stuff, but today Joel Embiid gave his commitment to Team USA, and then on media day around the league, you saw so many big name guys kind of give their commitment and desire to play for Team USA as the coach. How uh, encouraging is that just to see these guys want to play in Paris next year? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't be more excited about uh, Joel's decision. You know, we, um, we talked last year, um, both meetings in Philadelphia and here were, you know, just we're kind of recruiting him. And, and I was hoping that he would decide to play for us. And uh, so, um, you know, Grant gave me the news. And um, so hearing the news was um, – was great, and I'm, I'm really, really thrilled to, to have Joel aboard. And then, you know, the rest of the team will, will take shape as, as Grant and, and Sean Ford kind of lead that process. And um, it's exciting to, to see where it, where it all goes. How much have you talked with, with Rick so far already about how to attack Rest and you know just management of, of these guys. I mean, we we follow uh, the uh, performance staff's recommendations on um, how hard to practice every day. Um, there's, um, you know, they're monitoring everything with the players, and um, there's uh, they they work with a lot of data, a lot of research. Um, so, for example, the first two days were long, difficult practices. Today was much lighter. That's all by design. So as coaches, we're trying to figure out what we need to go through, and the performance staff is figuring out how hard we're going to run the guys. So um, it's, all, it's all a collaboration, um, but we really lean on their, their knowledge, their expertise on um, you know, managing the players' uh, output. You commented a few times about like, how good a shape some of the guys are in. Um, how different is that maybe than than recent past years I mean I know last year you're coming off a title but it does seem like they really maybe everybody kind of ramped it up earlier this year well yeah I mean I think l losing uh, earlier means this is longer summer it means you're also maybe a little more motivated um, human nature maybe last summer we let our guard down and um, this this past summer um, guys um, 
up and down the roster really uh, came in in great shape and, and ready to go. So it's, uh, it's great to see. I mean, does that allow you, even in the preseason, but but in the opener, to get guys' minute totals up quicker? And I mean, do you plan on Saturday? To have, obviously, you're not going to have a full regular season rotation, but to, you know, guys play pretty decent minutes. Um, I don't anticipate guys playing heavy minutes. You know, um, you play a play an exhibition game after five practices. Um, to me, it's. It's too early, but this is what we do, so uh, we'll, we'll ease guys in. I would much prefer to have 10 days of camp before we played a, a real game, but it's fine, so we just adapt accordingly, and I don't anticipate um, any of our main guys playing heavy minutes. Steve, uh how much fun is it just these early days seeing Chris Paul and Steph kind of go at it? I know it's not the same dynamic we were treated with, you know, watching Katie and Steph, but it's it's not it's still pretty pretty neat to see two veterans sort of It's actually battling. yeah, it's very similar to is watching okay. yeah, Steph and and Kevin just because you're looking at um you know, these Hall of Famers, um some of the all-time greats literally uh, working out together and collaborating on their workouts and um chris is um he's he's such a, a hooper i mean he loves the game so much i mean every film session he's engaged um every drill um he's got so much um experience and knowledge um from his own playing career and you know people who have influenced him and coached him so he's got great um you know thoughts and and um, when he and Steph are collaborating in their drill work, it's um, it's pretty special. I didn't want to compare them exactly, but do do you ever still pinch yourself? I mean, I'm coaching. Some, okay, yeah. it's pretty. I neat. mean, no, every day. Okay. I mean, to 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 have you know to come into the NBA and my first job, coach Steph Curry, and then you know and Clay and. Andre and these guys, and then a couple of years later, Kevin Durant shows up, and it's like, but I feel like that's all offset because I have to work with Raymond, and so it's like a, you know, there's some give, give and take, like you know, that life is a balance, you know, you can't have it all. Raymond looked pretty good with the WNBA ball in his hands today. If you want to, you know, trade him, <laughs> <laughs> trade him over there. How do you? I mean, you guys obviously play like a flowing style, but how do you envision point guard, ball handling type duties being split up when you have lineups that it's not just Steph, Chris, but you know Draymond out there too? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's one of the uh, key th things to to observe and to um, help develop. You know, during the early part of the season. Um, with uh, right now, without Draymond, you know, Chris and and Steph are really easily um, joining together and sharing ball handling duties. Chris is such a smart player. You know, um, if Steph has it, he knows exactly what to do. And he's a great screen setter. And, um, you know, so I think those guys will, will fit together really easily. Uh, when Draymond is, is on the floor with them, um, you know, Chris has already talked about it. He's, he wants Draymond pushing the ball. And he's, he's talked about, I got to run the wings. I can't lag back and, and ask for the outlet. I've got to run the wings and because one of the best things we do is is when Draymond pushes the ball. He's got a speed advantage over his opponent. Um, you get shooting on the perimeter. Um, we want Draymond pushing and, and Chris is well aware of that. The, the main thing is Chris is such a smart player that he and he's played against us a lot and he knows our idiosyncrasies and strengths and weaknesses and so he's already examining all that and, and fitting in well.